function first, and then we'll make it look good. Like. Uh. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. I have done a tiny bit of work to this since you guys last seen it. I put the chain case back together, put some 520 synthetic motor oil in there. That should be fine. We're on a budget. That's what I had in the, in the chemical uh, cabinet here. So put the reeds back in. Finally got my jets for the carburetors. We're going to go with what they're recommending at first, and then, and then we'll kind of you know step down from there if we feel like we need to. So get those put back in. Got some new plugs. Just do a couple little things like that. Goal is today is have it start again. I mean, and then I can go through and clean up the wiring and all that stuff. I mean, we can't film every single little thing or the episodes would be, you know, we'd, we'd have 10 hours of just working on this thing. So we'll sh show you a little bit here and there, here, a little bit here and there. I already cleaned the air box. I took the air horn off, cleaned it out. I had leaves in it, still some leaves in there. But yeah, get this bad boy running again. Cause I'm excited. I'm too excited. I don't know if that exists, but I'm excited. You guys already know that. Cool. Guys, you want to see my new pride and joy? I know it's minimal. Everyone has one of these. Ha! Due to my excitement of firing up this old monster, um, it's gonna be pretty hard to run it without a throttle cable or maybe even a choke. I was so excited. So we just put all this together because I'm so pumped <laughs> and I didn't hook this back up. And it's probably gonna be pretty much impossible to do it without it, without the air box off. Man, I'm pumped. Yeah. Coming off? Probably, okay. yeah. Well, I'm going to try not to for about two minutes. And then once it doesn't work, then I'm going to... You want to hear something funny? I don't remember which side the swaddle cable goes on. You want to hear something else funny? I'm like, oh, this will be good. There's nothing that holds this on. They had zip ties around it. Take it back off. Start over. Start over. Now watch me wrestle this thing for an hour trying to get it back on. There, there we go. First try. I knew this thing just wanted to run straight carbs. All right, let's redo this again. So this one, that's for the choke. This one's for the throttle. I can tell because of the way that it is. Let's go just like this. I'm just gonna grab the slide. Oh yeah, baby. Be a lot handier if I did this the first time. Go to your home. It works. Put this one on, then I'm gonna tighten both of them. Kind of hard to ride it without a throttle cable. My bad. Doing everything ten times. Ha <laughs> ha. It's like normal. Yeah. Oh, hit the sled. Oh, hit the sled. Oh, I hate when people leave the tails on zip ties. Number one is trashy. Number two, they catch on everything. Come on! Oh, oh boy. Got it. 
Those things are old. I'm not that stoked with the, oh, I see. I see how they did it. I get it. I get it. I don't love the way that is, but we're gonna redo it for now so we can go ride it. If that makes sense. Move this coolant hose over a little bit. Then I can get to this zip and tie. There. Ha! Ah, got it. Oh, it's a nice sound. It's a lot of room in here. Maybe that's why they left the tails on the zip ties. Ah. What are the chances these gauges, gauges and stuff work? Well, they, these are probably still pretty high quality, so they probably will. Work. You would hope. I've never seen these fail. But... Yeah. Probably don't need a choke anymore. Oh my god. Not supposed to smoke straight out the front of the hood. That's I'm talking loud because I'm half deaf. Ah. So we haven't put the can on yet. That's why it's smoking like hell right there, and it's insanely loud, even a little bit louder than normal. Um, but I got this hood for 37 bucks. I have three hoods for it because I'm sure this thing is going to fly off on a tank and probably get broken at some point. I don't really want to break the hood, but that was a very common thing with these sleds: is if it does roll, the hood flies open and it gets ripped off. So what we're talking about is we have EGT, I'm sorry, not EGT, we have EGTs up here, then we also have RPM, but the RPM reading here is about 500 different than the RPM reading here. So it's interesting to see which one we're gonna trust, or if we're gonna just use the law of averages and just kinda one of these. Yeah, so we'll see, I'm pumped. Got a small windshield off eBay, $37 hood. Oh, seat, we, got, we did get a seat for it. Um, it is budget friendly. It was still expensive because these things are hard to find. It's stitched up and stuff. But like I said, I'm trying to hold true to my budget. Man, I'm pumped. Couple things. We've got some wiring and stuff we have to do. Put the can back on. I'm gonna weld those bungs in for the EGTs so that you know so they fit in there well and they don't leak oil and crap everywhere. And we're gonna go rally this thing, man. It looks good. Budget build. Oh, and I gotta change that. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be red, so it'll match on one side. Red on one side, yellow on the other side. You'll never see us coming. Cool, dude. Stoked? I'm, I'm jacked. I mean, like I said, once I you know, go rally and stuff, we're really gonna clean it up and make it look, you know, we'll polish the tunnel and do a lot of cool stuff. But you know, for us spending, you know, I think we're just under three grand at this point to get this thing, hopefully jetta where it needs to be, get it looking a little bit better, you know, get a seat on it, get it functioning properly, and then, uh, you know, then we'll start to make it pretty and stuff. But uh, I'm pumped, man. I'm jacked. It's just, it's fun. It's fun. This is still my dream sled. And uh, to have it starting to come together, uh, yeah, 
I'm happy, man. I'm happy. Dude, it looks sweet. What's that? It's pretty easy. It's hard to see the track because it's so like this. Oh, yeah. There's a lot more reeds out here than I thought. Okay. I was so anxious I had to come out here and, and just ride it just for a second. We have about four inches of snow. We can't load it very well, but it runs. We'll have to take it out to the parking lot here in about a week or so. We get a little more snow and we can go rally it, play with the jetting a little bit, but I'm stoked, man. It's going to be awesome. we got to clean up some wiring. Got a lot of little things to do on it, but it does run. So it's going to be sweet. Cool. Thanks, guys. Fire it up and drive away. This thing has. <laughs> I'm gonna hold this camera. You're about to, you're gonna pull that. Thing. Oh, it's gonna be so loud. Stand by, stand by. You're gonna pull that thing off. The... Oh, I'm gonna pull the sled right you're off the gonna thing. Pull the sled off the... There, dude, it's got so much freaking compression. You wanna go ahead and hold your front end over? Thanks, dude. Yep. Oh my god. People that rode these were men. <laughs> they were men. They eat beef jerky and go on river boat gambling trips. <laughs> oh my god. Oh baby. I've lost count on how many pulls we're at. That many. Oh. 
How many pulls did it take to get to the center of a lollipop? <laughs> 20 year old modified lollipop. <laughs> Is it really loud right in your face? Did we just blow oil all over that? Oh. Nope. It still runs!